I wanted to share this inspiring story about Sharon, who was single-handedly trying to continue to feed the homeless after her church closed and the other members of her team were too elderly to expose themselves to COVID. And so I connected her with Malama Meals, where I've been volunteering, and other community groups have also stepped in to fill the needs. And there's five other elderly women who's been volunteering. All of this is a volunteer base to be able to reach out to our homeless people. We have a lot here, they're everywhere. And every Friday for the last five years, April 1st, May, five years that we have been serving the community and trying to hui everyone uh, to be able to share um, our caring and our caring always all come from God. So we, and I know you thought people don't like this, but that's the truth. And I'm only gonna tell you the truth. And so anyway, this whole thing impacts us by now we can't get out to the community. It just stop halt everything that we don't. Now we can't serve them. We have we have gone to the point that it started building up and building up, and it's the showers on the trailer, and they would back up in the back of our our our, our uh, parking lot, hook it up, and we would have um, the showers, three three portable showers, yeah, and they would come and and the uh, and the homeless people would come and shower. We also have across the street where once a week uh, there's a laundromat, the one and only laundromat in Wamanalo, that volunteer their time for the, and their their money their monies and their laundry soap for the homeless to come and wash their clothes. So this whole epidemic that's happening, this virus is happening, is just halted so much. Now. Um, this situation we have here with all this food, it's such a blessing because now we can go out and and reach, do an outreach instead of they coming here to this our sanctuary to be able to come and have a meal. Now it's time to readjust and go out and have take them to take them some meals. We also have blankets mm -hmm. that Michelle. Um, well, Home Depot called us and donated three pallets of blankets. We're so thankful because we'll pass out a blanket today. And I just came from Shima's. You can only buy two cases of water. But I explained to Shima's we would like to give a bottle of water with each of the donated meals. And they said I could buy it. And then she donated it. So, you know, everybody is thinking, how do we partner? And yes. thank you, Malama Meals. because. Yes. Our kupuna were so at risk. We can't put them at risk and serving meals now. But as Sharon and I were praying and brainstorming, mm -hmm. you folks provided the meals. We can certainly pass them out, and we're yes. so thankful. 